girlfriends welcome back to my channel it's jazz and i'm back with another quick video for you i'm gonna be showing you how i got these nice soft fluffy curls on blown out hair if you haven't checked out the blowout video first go ahead and check out that as well let's get into it so like i've mentioned i've already blown out my hair i'm using a mousse that i'm not even going to mention because any mousse will work always using a wrapping method but when i'm doing blown out hair i kind of like to leave a space in between each rotation just so that i have a little bit more length than i would with a wet set really simple technique that i use you want to make sure you're going to brush that mousse through but not too much mousse i only used a pump just enough to give it some hold but you don't want to you know use so much mousse that your hair is basically wet all over again defeats the purpose we're trying to reduce shrinkage here so i only use 24 rods so i kind of just was random with my placing i wanted to use larger sections so i am speeding through this but please make sure you take your time i do like to pinch the root so that i know that that is going to be pulled tightly and not just loose roots because loose roots puffiness humidity we don't want any of that so i am using extra mousse on the end because i didn't want to use a bunch of mousse while i was setting each piece so i'm adding the mousse to the ends so that my ends are nice and tucked and neat and not frizzy because this is a blowout okay you ready for camera okay let's take these down Damn. So I did air dry with these in my head overnight. These are not a good sleep. Like I'm not even going to tell you there's a magic way to sleep well in these because it isn't. Um, but other than that, um, you see this definition? I love, I don't know why I have a love hate relationship with styles on blown out hair. I know I shouldn't do this in the summer because it's not going to last. But I just love the look of the curls on blown out hair. I just it's just it's really bad because like two days later i had a, a fro but whatever um <laughs> but look at these curls they're nice and soft that's why i love blown out curls they just look like soft touchable curls and you can kind of make this whatever you want it to be starting from here i always use a little bit of oil on my hands when taking down any set i just used uh some light blend of the castor oil i think of you'll see me use before uh tropical tropic isle living black castor oil the light blend but i do want to like pull on them a little bit kind of break the mousse cast and just lightly separate you really just want to separate enough to cover the parts because this is a blowout i have to keep reminding y'all this is a blowout it's not going to be like a wet set so you don't want to do too much tugging and pulling because it's going to be a frizzy mess but you can see the difference just by separating it lightly and then here we are boom bam <clears throat> so this is basically without any additional fluffing and you really don't have to especially if you are trying to get this to last because let's keep in mind this is a blowout but just for the sake of showing you I'm gonna just comb my roots out just a little more, just to give it a little bit more volume and a little bit more shape because my layers have grown out. And this really just reminds me that I need a curly cut. But you know, just a little, you know, nothing too major. But you see how, how that already, and then because I'm doing like a half side part I kind of want it to have a little bit more lift on this side so you know you kind of kind of make it do your own thing because a lot of people have different layers different shaping and I really just I, I want to cut some layers but you know I'm not even gonna it's like if I could just have like a little bang situation and you can do that like i faked the bang i ain't gonna lie i faked the bang plenty of times with some clips you know you can easily fake a bang but we're not gonna worry about that today because tomorrow after i pull this up tied up it'll be a different look so this is really kind of where 
you make this your own style but just with a little bit of fluffing I have a lot more shape and volume than I just did and um, this just really confirms I need to cut some layers because I did kind of like a half side part to give it a little bit of height on this side but I could have easily done a middle part with no problem so that is that it is hot as I don't know what outside I probably will be going out there just won't do it just won't do it all right um I will link everything I use below I use 24 long flexi rods now that does make a difference I have bought some shorties by accident I'm very upset so I will link the exact ones that I'm using because there are long and short perm and flexi rods so you don't want to get the wrong one but you know you could easily like comb this out and make it real big I think I want to do I said this in the comments before I want to do like a large perm rod set and kind of comb it out with a wide tooth comb see how big it gets let me know if y'all want to see that because I need to take advantage of this color before it's something else and it's my roots are already this is just for my birthday and the roots are trying to come on in I'm like come on we just did this all right you gonna say bye bye see you next time, see you, next time. you acting shy you've been trying to get on this video all day <laughs> and you acting shy <laughs> All right, put your hands out your mouth. What are you gonna say? Oh, Cause you can see yourself. You need to do all that. All right, say bye. Bye. Say bye, curl friends. Bye, curl friends. All right. Bye. <laughs> so I'm trying to knock these styles out. Let me know what y'all want to see next. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace.